Some of the comments I get on this channel are priceless. The most recent one is, dude, if you can't even gravity drop open a blade, why are you even here? And of course I had to leave them a reply because I'm lonely. I can't stand intros. So I asked you guys, what kind of knives do you want to see next? You want to see a cold steel? You want to see a tops? Want to see a Sabivi? Well, you basically told me what you want to see. I'm going to show you everything on this uh, little pyramid of knives. Everything in one shot. No messing around. How dare you! Greetings everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome if it's your first time here, please check out my playlists. I'd like to put a huge, huge shout out and a thank you to Gord Fry over at Grand Industrial, Northern Alberta. If you're interested in any of the knives I'm about to show you, I'm going to leave an email down in the description. Contact Gord, uh, preferably if you're living in Alberta or even Saskatchewan and BC, somewhere in there. He said the shipping shouldn't be too, too bad, but... Shipping is shipping. So let's show you the first knife in the box of knives. All right, so the first knife I'm gonna show you, here's the model number right there, the C23028DST. This is coming from Civivi Knives. Comes in a nice pouch. There's a whole bunch of stuff on the inside of the pouch. And here's the knife. Looks like it's a flipper. I know nothing about these knives, by the way. It looks like a flipper. I don't know what kind of steel this is. I really like the scale material. I think it's called Ultum. Nice deep pocket carry. Check that out. The screws are actually flush on the inside. Doesn't get any better than that, folks. Wow, that feels like bearings. I'm not 100% sure, but that's also a button lock. I'm gonna do a video coming up very soon on the many different types of locks out there for those people that are new to this hobby. And there are quite a few, actually. Not sure of the blade steel. What do you think of that one? Pretty nice, right? All right, so let's put that one right there. I have no idea what this is going to look like. Let's go on to the second blade. Here's the second Civivi out of the big box of blades. Uh, that's the C23017DS1. Maybe that last one was a DS1 as well. Yeah, it was. I think I might have said DST. I can't really see very well. Again, it's got the same type of pouch. And on the inside, there's a whole bunch of other stuff. And it looks like we've got the same type of Ultim on the scale material. Now, there's another good looking knife. Again, with the flush screws and the deep pocket carry. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Maybe I have. I don't know. That's pretty darn good. Um, I'm even thinking that's recessed. Yeah, the whole thing is recessed down into the scales. Another flipper. I'm thinking this is on bearings. Oh yeah, that's on bearings as well. This is a liner lock. Wow, that's smooth. Really smooth. Oh yeah, very nice. What do you think of that one? I like it too. All right, so let's put that up over here. No, I have no idea what they're called. Not a clue. What do you think this is, a knife channel? How dare you? Here's the next knife. It's the Idaho Hunter Midnight Bronze. Okay, I think I've never seen this knife before. I'm quite certain I've never seen this knife before. We got Kydex and the belt loop thing and the whistle. Strong, very strong. There's the Idaho Hunter. If you're from Idaho, is this the Hunter? Wow, pretty cool. Pretty thick on the stock. I'm pretty sure it's 1095. All right, so let's put that one over there. Let's go on to the let's go on to the next tops knives. Oh, we got the Woodcraft coming up. This is the WC01. And here's a look at the Woodcraft. And here's a look at the Woodcraft. My carta looks like 1095. I don't know. What do you think of this one? I like this one as well. Nice belly. Let me know what you think. That's the Woodcraft. Let's go on to a cold steel knife. Okay, so the first cold steel, maybe it's the only cold steel. It's the Outdoorsman in San Mai. The Outdoorsman has a solid plastic or Kydex type of sheath. And here's a look at the Outdoorsman. 
Pretty big knife. Really nice handle. Feels really good. I'm a little surprised that it's a hollow grind for an outdoors knife. A lot of bucks out there with hollow grinds as well. San Mai. Yeah, this is a really good looking knife. Feels really good. Um, if there was a knife I could want it to take into the woods, it might be this one. Yeah, that, that's really nice. Let me know what you think. Let's put the outdoorsman over here. Let's straighten these back up before I put them all back in the boxes. What do we got coming up next? We've got another tops. We've got the Modern Gladius. Let's open up this box. So here's a look at the Modern Gladius. It's got some pretty cool hardware going on here. It looks like you could probably put that on the belt. Of course, you got your whistle. What's the retention like? Nice and solid. Here's the modern Gladius. Looks like we've got two edges going on here. And there's what it looks like in the hand. Got a bit of a, a ring in here, but I don't know if that's what it's intended for. That is for the finger. I don't think so, but you never know. Let me know what you think of the modern Gladius. This one's probably in 1095 as well. We got one more, let's open it up. And the last knife in here is the Steel Eagle. And that's from Topps Knives. This one feels like a real beast, the Steel Eagle. Again, we got some pretty nice, pretty nice uh, sheath going on here. Nice clip and all that stuff. What's the re, oh yeah, nice solid. Really solid click. And there's the Steel Eagle Delta class. Holy moly, this is one thick piece of steel. The handle feels very similar to the Tahoma Field Knife. It's almost got that same kind of shape, but this one's way better. Yeah, this thing is seriously cool. Let me know what you think of this one as well. So anyway, there you go, you got Two, four, six, seven blades. I know nothing about any of these blades. Like seriously, nothing. But aren't you a review channel? Not really. These were given to me to show you and that's exactly what I did. And I don't want to keep them a minute longer. They're gonna go back to uh, let me know what you think. Um, I know for sure if you're living in Alberta, you're gonna get a sweet deal on these. And that's pretty much all I can tell you. I really like this one. And uh, I love the mechanism on this one. I love this thing. It's just a beast. I would love to take this one into the woods. These two are very cool as well. As a matter of fact, I think the Idaho is the one that I would probably choose for some wood tasks. However, none of these knives belong to me. So of course, I'm not gonna take them into the woods. But let's see where this goes. You never know. In the meantime, thanks for sticking around. Bye for now.